Welcome back to Digital Lean Management. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to take your skills matrix to the next level by automating updates with Power Automate. Say goodbye to manual input and hello to real-time data synchronization across Microsoft Planner, List, and Power BI. Let's dive into smarter, faster workflows together. So here in part three of Schizmetrics of Evergreen Renewable Energy Company, we're going to show you how to automate the Schizmetrics updates automatically using Power Automate. This process will help streamline workflows reduce manual effort, and ensure that your systems remain up to date effortlessly. Now, as we look at this whiteboard, you'll see the steps we'll follow throughout this tutorial. It all starts with Microsoft Planner, where we outline our development plan or the training plan for employees. This is a critical step as it sets the foundation for managing workforce growth and learning priorities in a structured way. Then, we'll explore Power Automate to show you the specific steps required to automate this process. This includes configuring flows that allow you to update the skill levels of employees directly, saving significant amounts of time and reducing errors from manual updates. These automated changes are then reflected in our Microsoft list, which acts as the central database. This ensures the database remains fully updated and consistent with the latest information, a crucial aspect for maintaining a reliable system. Finally, the Microsoft list is synchronized with Power BI, enabling live dashboards to display real-time data. By doing this, we guarantee that managers have access to accurate, synchronized, and live insights, facilitating better decision-making processes at all times. So here, as you can see, is our maintenance team skills matrix created in Microsoft List. This matrix provides an overview of our employees, along with their respective skill levels, allowing us to track proficiency across the team efficiently. In this tutorial, we'll focus on the example of Adele Evans and her skill level in solar panel maintenance. Currently, this is identified as not trained, meaning it's a skill that needs attention within our development plan or training initiatives. To address this, we choose to utilize Microsoft Planner for its simplicity and ease of use, making it an ideal tool for this demonstration. However, it's worth noting that you're free to use any training platform that suits your organization's needs. Whether it's Viva Learning or any other internal platform your company relies on, the process can be adapted accordingly. For this example, the training task for solar panel maintenance is set up as a planner task specifically for relevance. Once she completes her training, she can simply mark the task as complete in planner. This action will automatically trigger an automated workflow designed to update our database seamlessly, a process we'll delve into more in the next step. To get started, we're going to move to Power Automate, where we'll show you how to create this automation flow for this task. First, we'll choose Automated Cloudflow. In this step, we'll select the trigger when a task is completed in Planner, which will act as the starting point for our automation. This ensures that the flow activates whenever a task is marked as done, streamlining your task management process. After we've set up the trigger, the next step is to create the task itself. Once that's done, we'll click on the action and select the group ID for our plan. This identifies and connects the flow to the correct group where the tasks belong. For this tutorial, our example group is the Evergreen Renewable Energy Maintenance Team. From there, we'll move on to choosing the plan ID, which in this case is our training plan. This simple setup enables efficient task handling in your workflow. First, we're going to add a compose action to store the data related to our task. This step is essential as it allows us to manage and organize our information effectively. Next, we'll select the title of the task, which corresponds to the skills name in our SharePoint list, ensuring everything is properly linked. It is essentially the same. After that, we can assign it a name, perhaps something memorable, so we can easily reuse it later. Then we will create another Compose, where we will store our user ID. This step is important because it allows us to structure the workflow effectively by isolating the user ID for further use. Next, we can name it as Compose Assigned User ID, where we will store the assigned user for this task. This naming convention helps ensure clarity and makes the process easier to follow as you build out your workflow. In this example, since our task is only containing one person, we're going to choose the first element of the assigned people in the task. From there, we'll retrieve the user ID and store it for upcoming operations. Now, we will add a new action called Get User Profile from Office 365. In this step, 
will provide the user ID that we referenced earlier in the previous Compose action to ensure seamless data retrieval. After that, we will take another Compose where we're going to save the email of the user. This is important because the email acts as a unique attribute, allowing us to identify and reference the user for later purposes. And finally, we're going to have these two actions from the SharePoint list, where we're going to use the Compose email that we take from the user profile and the Compose task title that we take from Microsoft Planner. This sets the stage for seamlessly integrating data from both sources, allowing for a streamlined and dynamic workflow. Now here in guest items, we're going to define the site address and the list name, which in this case is the maternal Steam Skills matrix. Specifying these parameters ensures the system directs all actions to the right location and list for processing. Then we can have this filter query that we can define. The filter query specifies that the technician email equals the compose email that we defined earlier and the skills name equals the compose task title. This filtering criterion ensures that only the relevant data is targeted, avoiding any unnecessary or unrelated entries. Next, we define the top count equal to one to get only one element, focusing the output on the first matching record. After that, we're going to update the item from the same list. As I mentioned in the beginning, we will have only one person in our planner assigned to the task. By narrowing it down to one person, we ensure that the task update remains precise and aligned with the specific assignment. To achieve this, we will take the first element and retrieve the ID of the first element that the get items action returns. This ID serves as a reference for the next step. Following this, we can define in the advanced parameter our skill level value that we're going to update. In our case, we update the value from not trained to trained but need support. This modification reflects the progress in the assigned task status. Finally, we can save the flow ensuring that all the steps are securely configured. Once saved, the flow is ready to be triggered for automation, completing the process and enabling a smooth operational workflow. And after the flow was triggered, here we can see in the Power Automate run history the trigger action that initiated this flow. This provides a detailed log of when and how the process began, ensuring you can track the starting point easily. Now as we move further, you can see here the trigger itself, clearly highlighted, making it simple to understand what initiated this automated sequence. The flow was executed successfully, demonstrating seamless operation, and you can see the item is updated in the SharePoint list, which we're going to show you next for further clarity. At the start of this tutorial, we demonstrated how the skills of solar panel maintenance for Adele Vans were categorized as not trained. Now, as we follow the automated flow, this status has been updated to trained but needs support, reflecting the changes we described earlier. Next, this update is also reflected in the Power BI dashboard, which was introduced in part two of the theory of the skills matrix maintenance team. This ensures that the progress is seamlessly tracked and visualized. Following this, as the dashboard's Power BI data is refreshed, the system will automatically incorporate the updated information, maintaining continuity without requiring manual updates. Finally, this synchronization enables a streamlined overview of employee progress and status, fully removing the need for human intervention in data management. Everything operates in a completely automated manner, ensuring efficiency, accuracy, and real-time insights. Thanks for tuning in. Today we learned how to automate skills matrix updates, ensuring real-time accuracy and seamless integration across tools. If you found this helpful, hit that like button and subscribe for more tutorials on optimizing workflows and digital management. Let's keep building smarter systems together. See you in the next video.